when your only source of water in the garden is a single tap, what are the options for making every drop work for you? Well, first up, let's look at the end of the hose. Now, a trained finger can change the pattern, even create jets, but it can't stop that flow of water as you move around the garden. That's where a new generation of water guns can really save some water. This is a starter model, which allows you to create a jet. And I use this to squirt aphids off my one and only rose bush. More sophisticated models have multiple heads that have a range of patterns, including a soft rain. This allows you to gently water in new seedlings without blasting them out of the ground. Back at the tap, wouldn't it be handy if you could turn this into two or four taps? Well, you certainly can with one of these manifolds. And what you've got then after you've screwed it onto number one tap is the basis of an irrigation system that won't cost you a lot of money for your garden. I like to use solid brass fittings. Apart from being stronger and longer lasting than any plastic, they grip onto the hose like a puppy on a tennis ball. Only these never let go. From the manifold, you can run drip line into the garden or a feed line for drippers or jets to water pot plants and hanging baskets, an ordinary hose or even a lawn watering system using a fixed sprinkler. You can add set and forget control by adding a tap timer to individual lines. Well, the next level of sophistication is this electronic manifold. Now, there's little solenoids built into each one of those four outlets, and it's hot-wired right back to a controller. This means that you can actually set the watering times of each one of those individual taps. So there you go. The humble garden tap with a bit of Holman technology gets transformed into a system that will allow you to water in many different ways right through the garden. <laughs>